Hello and welcome back to my channel Opium Coils. My name is Phil and today we're going to be doing a coil build tutorial and the coil we're going to be making is an alien. So without further ado, let's dive down. I'll show you all the tools we need and I'll show you how I do it. And we are down. So as for this particular build, what we're going to need is some wire. So for this one, we're going to use 27 gauge nichrome 80 and twisted messes. That's for our core and 36 nichrome 80 twisted messes as well for the alien portion. We're going to need pliers. We're going to need some flash cuts. We're going to need a ball bearing swivels. I will show you how I mount my wire on them later on. You're most probably wondering why we need those four guys. No, we're not going to be playing with those. Uh, we're going to be using them to keep our core wire nice and parallel. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it once we start the build. Obviously, we cannot do that build without one of these. That's my fast drill. So I use this for a Clapton portion. So we're going to decor it, stretch it, and then wrap around the free, free core um, or tricore alien. And this little boy here is my alienator. Very, very smooth, very smooth drill. Uh, now I've got that little thing on the top or in the chuck, which is basically what jewelers use. Let me just zoom in and see what I mean. Yeah, so basically it's like a clamp system. Again, four to six quid on eBay or Amazon. Um, I'm not pretty sure exactly what it's called, but some form of like a clamp jewelry thingy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh, 27 out, 27 gauge nichromady, and we're going to stretch most probably about 20 something inches. So take your pliers, I'm just going to zoom in slightly. Now we don't need to zoom in that and that. Just make sure the wire is nice, nice and tight on your in your plier so it doesn't go anywhere and then just gentle pull nichrome wire is actually fairly flexible so you don't need to pull too hard and that's our it's not perfect straight perfectly straight but doesn't matter we can straighten it a little bit more as we go so snip that end off just like that I might just zoom in a little bit that's cool now we've got I've got like a um, more of a, like a long nose pliers there so what I normally do is feed the wire through the swivel, just like that. Just like that. Hold it with your pliers, twist it a couple of times, three, five, six, you, we're not going to we're not going to be pulling 
too much tension on the actual core wire anyway so it doesn't have to be that tight on the, on the swivel right I'm gonna mount it to my drill now and we start clapping so we are now at the check of the drill I had to buy like a little extension for my for my chuck as the original chuck has like a little hole in the middle and the wire the wire was dancing inside like a crazy so just because we want that wire as centered as possible we don't want any of that but that was again about four to five quid maybe even three i don't know let's check it yeah that's cool so now we're going to go ahead and secure the wire on the leg of our core which is going to be our clapton and then we're going to decor it once it's nice to secure do a few spins not to not too crazy fast that's what i normally do and about that just just get in a groove and uh and then you can just sort of speed up and uh do it full speed just like this So one thing I actually didn't mention at the beginning is whichever way you are comfortable with doing the actual alien with uh, with a decor you need to spin your drill reverse so if you like to do the alien portion clockwise then you have to do your um, Clapton portion the other way which is counterclockwise so that's what I'm doing now I'm comfortable with wrapping my alien wire clockwise so I'm going to do the actual um, Clapton portion reverse so it's going to be counterclockwise let's do it I can see a bit better how the wraps go on. So now as we finished clapton in, I was gonna say that light so you guys can see a bit better. And just snip the wire off just like so. I leave about an inch, maybe a little bit less at the end as you can see there just a tiny little bit so put your put your drill in reverse hold on to it tight 
and for like two to three seconds, just spin it full, full speed. What that does is basically loosens up your Clapton portion and it's nicely movable as you can see there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, moves with ease. Awesome. So now we're going to snip on the core wire, just like so. We're going to snip it there, nice and clean cut. So we are at the chuck again, and you see that little 36 gauge wrapped around that leg, just want to pull it out and snip it just like that. Um, most of the time, let me just zoom out a little bit. So most of the time I, I don't even bother taking the actual, the whole wire off out of the swivel. Just to take the actual Clapton portion out. Uh, when you, when you, when you snip the wire, obviously you're going to feel that that step there is not going to be smooth. So you just need to hold the wire at the beginning and just kind of push it, if that makes sense, rather than pull it. So from the beginning, just try to push it this way rather than holding the wire in the middle and trying to pull it because what that's going to do is just going to is just going to uh, spread the actual wraps. So that's what you don't need to do and you don't want to do. Now we're going to get another two pieces of 27 straighten. So for this build, we aim in for around, I would say two, three coils. So, I normally take a little bit more than I actually need. So I might just measure about 16 inches and that's what you do. Uh, just pull it very gently. You don't need to uh, pull the shit out of it. So we now got three pieces of 27 cut to the size. So what we do you just go to one end. Let me just uh, lift the camera slightly, just like that, so you can see my T-shirt. That's pretty cool, man. Slayer forever. Uh, there you go. So snip the ends, just like this. Try not to stab yourself with wire. Obviously, sooner or later, that's going to happen and you can't help it unless you're a magician or some kind of lucky guy or girl. And on this side, as you can see, they like pretty damn almost perfect. Almost perfect. Look at that. That is really good. Yeah. Anyway, so we snip them as well, so they are nice and nice and even. So what we do now is zoom in a little bit again, just like so. Now where now is the time where my Lego bricks come handy. So what I do is just place my tricore in the middle just like so put the put the top top piece on just like this push it lock it boom now i hold the wire at the beginning the tricore and i try to slide my fingers and whilst pulling on the core so it's nice and tight and then i put 
and the second piece on just like this and there we have it there we have it so this is my little little trick so now I'm going to take my alienator mount the wire in st stretch 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 the actual um, decor and we're going to start the uh, fun part which is uh, alien so here we are guys as I said before this tool comes really handy uh, as for helping the tricor stay nice and parallel especially at the beginning you can use like a regular um, regular drill and just and just mount it onto your onto your drill uh, and that's cool but since I had that too I thought you know what I am gonna use it because why not I'm gonna zoom out now and I'll show you how I do the next part so now we're gonna take the second Lego bricks or whatever you call it and slide it down to about yeah about there so now I got my long noses just right there I'm gonna pinch the wire just like that and do like an L shape or 90 if you like on there I'm just gonna take this off actually just to show you guys no distractions a bit more focus there we have it and I'm just gonna mount the actual wire on there so I pinch the wire just like this so it goes on one side of the core underneath it just like so you guys can see it and then I hold the ends and just twist it slightly just like that put my swivels back nice and secure so yeah now we've got our wire a tricot nicely secure in the chuck end which is our clamp and this is how far I actually stretched my decor for the alien portion And it's going nice and smoothly, guys. Nice and smoothly. I like to go fairly, fairly fast, not ridiculous, but fairly fast. Slowly but surely we're going towards the end. And that's where this happened. So whenever, I'm actually quite glad that it actually happened. 
It doesn't happen very often, but when it happens, there's no way back. So you need to pinch it with nylon pliers, just like so, and try to get out of the situation. I just normally move that brick, Lego brick, slightly closer towards towards this bit and uh, yeah try to do it again yeah a bit straighter we'll see yeah I think we're good again So to start with, I would recommend to go kind of medium speed. Don't go too slow, don't go too slow, but be, be confident, be confident in what you're doing, you know? Um, but don't go too fast, too quick. Okay, now we're going to take the back bricks off, just like so. We're going to move that one almost to the end, just like this. And that's it. If you got that far, congratulations. You did your first alien. And it's all cool. Yeah, I think it just uh, wire kind of wrapped a little bit weirdly around there. So I'm just gonna finish right there. So uh, we're gonna go slightly up now and I will show you how to coil it up. But before we do that, I will show you some macro shots of this wire. So yeah, this is the wire that we just did. What I normally do, I just grab my long noses and kind of bend it slightly on one end and pinch it so it gets into that shape as you can see. So basically that prevents of the alien portion moving around or sliding off. So three mil bit, hold it with your thumb, hold it with your index finger. Don't rush this either. You know, take your time. Uh, it's not a marathon or some kind of race. Just take your time, nice and even pressure putting it just like this and there we have it alien 27 done thank you very much for uh, watching today and uh, i'll see you back up and uh, say all the goodbyes and everything else that i've got to say i'm going to do the other coil and i'll see you guys back up in a bit rock on Beautiful. And that is it guys. That's how I make my alien coil. I hope you learned something today. And uh, if you've got any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified. And uh, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for joining me again. 
and uh, hope to see you guys very, very soon.